Hi, I've seen a few times in the uh, Adobe forums that there seems to be a bit of a confusion about connecting a, a Flex app to a PHP web service. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial video. So to start off in uh, PHP Eclipse, I already had uh, PHP uh, Eclipse before I, I got uh, Flash Builder. I know you can get uh, Flash Builder with PHP, but I've got the two separately, so I didn't see the point in spending the extra money. So I'll, I'll do it this way. So I'll start a new PHP project. And let's call it uh, I don't know, Flex Tutorial. That'll do. Okay, there it is. Now in that, we're going to start add a new uh, folder. We'll call it Value Objects. Okay, finish. Uh, and here we're going to start a new PHP file. That's going to be called AMF service. Well, let's call it AMF service. Keep it camel case or Pascal case. Finish. Obviously, this is the uh, the service that we're going to be using. So it's class AMF service. So class for now, and all we're going to do on this one is we're going to get uh, a list of uh, planets. Say, so we'll have a, a public function get planets. We won't pass anything to it. We'll just put that in for now. But what we want to return is uh, a value object. So if we go to the value objects, we we'll to make a new file. And we'll call it planet. Let's finish that. Which is class planet. And all we're going to have in here is uh, some variables. So we'll have var planet id var name. That's all we really need at the moment. You obviously, you can put a load more other things in, but that's all we're going to do in this bit. But uh, something very important that you have to put in your uh, your AS dot declarations as well. So if I put forward slash star star, you see it's put the var unknown type. That's going to be an int. And nothing going in. It's just going to be. Don't have to put this in, but I'll put it in. Same on this one. So it's forward slash star star is enter, and we'll put the rest in. So var, that's going to be a string. Okay, that's going to be planet name. Okay, so they're going to be our uh, value objects. Go back to here. What we want to do here is obviously import prior once. And it's in value objects. Planet. Okay, so in this bit here, you would do uh, normally you do a MySQL call or parse a page or however you collect your data. And then in a loop, you would go um, p equals new planet and then p planet id equals I don't know one two three p planet name equals earth Okay, so that's uh, that's creating the object. But notice I've said get planets here, so I want to actually loop around. So what I do, I want to return an array. So I'll declare an array first. And then here, I'll just say A, and I'll push in P. And I'll 
there's still another planet. Five six. Build that Mars. And then we'll just push that in again. And obviously you would say loop through a, a database query. It's just this is just an example to put some data in. So then what we want to do is return A. So we're going to turn an array of planets. So once again, we need to declare that. So into the description here is going to re return array of planets. And here you have to put in that sign, return, and it's going to be An array of planets. That's going to be planets. Oops. Planet. And it's an array. So you put those at the end. So it knows it's an array. Okay, that's the uh, PHP side. So we'll save that. And uh, I did my PHP in. Uh, my, well, my workspace is in, is in my, my documents. So, where is it? It's uh, Plus Tutorial. And there we are. So, you've got the AMF and the value settings are the two that I kind of need. So, if I control C that, and go to WAMP. This is my uh, www. So, it's up here left. So, if, if I make myself a new folder now, new. Hold it. I'll call it the same again. Let's call it flex. Tutorial. And in that folder, I will put my PHP. Okay. Uh, I'll just close this video now and uh, open the next flex one.